Okay, so this is what our post top tenon will look like at the beginning before cutting. So this is all the layout that's done. There's a reference face as an orange. And there's a lot of jazz going on, so we have to be careful. This is our tenon here in the center, the end of the tenon mapped out. And we're going to start cutting from a non-reference face, even though everything is measured from a reference face. So the first thing we're going to cut is down this line here with the cross-cut saw to define the shoulder of our tenon. So that will look like this. And let's keep in mind that these lines are not going to be here after we remove that material. And then we'll flip the piece and we'll do the same thing here. Again, we're not going to have access to those lines any longer. And this is no longer a reference space, so let's change that color. Now notice these little tick marks here, where we sort of overextended where that was originally defined. That will help us later on. So now the next thing we need to do, you see we still have a little bit of our um, tenon defined here, and this is actually still a line, so we're in good shape there. We've got to connect right along here and here on both sides so that we can see where our tenon shorter shoulders are going to be. So to do that, we're going to drop our framing square off of this reference face down here, this distance here, which should be two inches, and we're going to make a little tick right in that notch and right in this notch here. And then we can just connect that line to the tick and this line to the tick on both sides. And that's how we'll come off a reference space. So once we make that line here, and there, this is what we'll end up with. And then we'll end up with the same thing down here a little bit further, of course, coming off the reference space. We're not measuring anything off of this face over here. And then once we do that, we can saw down this smaller shoulder here. And that is no longer a reference face, so let's change that color. And then we'll come over here and we'll saw down that shoulder there. And now we don't have these lines anymore. And I forgot on this side, we also lost these lines. Oops. So that should be our tenon to find there. Now the next thing we need to do, we still have this line here, which is good because that will help us with our housing. We need to cut down this line here, which is to a depth that's already defined from our earlier layout. So if we cut that down, that's how we're looking there. And then the last thing we need to do is just pair back on this 45. And we can do that by eye, just starting at one end and working our way down. And that should do it. So let's see how that works out tomorrow. All right. Good luck. Future self.